One UI 4 brings quite a few usability enhancements and that's what I'll talk about in this video. First, let's say you're in photo mode on your camera and you instantly want to start shooting a video. Earlier, you could just keep the shutter key pressed to start recording, but now you can drag it to lock it in video mode and record your video hands-free. And I think this is a really nifty upgrade, something I'm gonna use quite a bit. Next, I really like the new brightness slider. I think it's a lot easier to use just because of a larger tap area. So you don't have to be very precise and as long as you're in the ballpark area of the slider, it works really well and gives you a more accurate brightness control. Next, now you get a much stronger visual feedback in the form of a charging animation when you connect your charger. So now you know for sure whether your phone is charging or not. And let's hope that Samsung brings in more charging animations that we can choose from. I think that would be really cool. Coming to the next one, you can now change the time and the location of a photo in your album for whatever reason you've ever wanted to. So let's say you're in gallery on a picture and then you hit details. And if you click on edit, in addition to it being able to change the name of the file, you can now change the date as well as add location information. So all of these fields are now editable and they were not earlier. Another great usability change, which I talked about in my earlier video was the introduction of extra dim. So let's say, you know, earlier you could lower down brightness all the way. And if you thought that wasn't enough, you really couldn't do anything about it. But now you can turn on extra dim. That really dims the screen even more if you're in a really, really dark room and don't want to disturb anyone around you. And if you click here, you can actually go into details and increase or vary the intensity of this dimness. So you can go really dark if you want to, or at least have that cap set as per your preferences. And guys, before we move on to the next one, it would mean a lot to me if you could show some support for the channel. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. All right, now let's move on to the next. This next one is a very small change, but when your phone now goes into dark mode, your notifications are also dark. I mean, it doesn't really impact usability in any way, but I think it's just a very fresh change and I really like it. Coming to the next one, I've always been a fan of always on display as a feature and I would generally use it to know if I have a notification or not. But now there's a setting wherein the always on display would only turn on when you get a notification, which means technically I don't always need to have always on display turned on. And this can almost save you about four to 6% of your battery on a daily basis as compared to a situation where you may have kept always on display, literally always on. There are also some changes related to privacy control. Now, every time you use an app that uses your camera or microphone, basically things that invade privacy, you're shown an indicator letting you know of it. So let's say I'm in the voice recorder, a tiny green LED on the top right corner will tell me and warn me that the mic is being used. And while this doesn't really change how you use your phone on a daily basis, but if a suspicious app or any malicious app was using your microphone or your camera, you would know. Next, you get a very simple way to turn off any and all access to your camera and your microphone in a single tap. So these controls are not going to be shown up front. You're gonna to have to take those out of your available buttons. So if you go into your edit mode, you can actually pull out these toggles. And yeah, let's say you want to completely shut off camera access. You can do that in a single tap and the same for microphone. Another interesting update is that now you can decide which apps should have precise location versus some apps that only need to know approximate location. So you can do that now. Earlier this control wasn't there, but now you've got it. So yeah, if privacy is a concern to you, especially with respect to your front camera, uh, your microphone and your location, I think One UI 4 with Android 12 does quite a lot to reduce that anxiety and stress. And this is a pretty fine example of that. Another minor update is that you can now sort your gallery albums by the number of pictures contained in them. And so if you go into sort, you will see something called as number of items. And a really good use that I can think of is now you can identify which album has the maximum junk and you can just clear it off right away. And lastly, the side panel or the edge panel does not cover the entire screen. So let's say you're using it on an app, you'll still have a clear partial view of the app. Not sure if this was really an upgrade. I just think it's a little unnecessary, but yeah, they've done it. And it does not work on third party edge panels yet. Uh, I think they'll have to upgrade themselves, but yes, on the native edge panels, it works. 
And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, there are quite a few other usability upgrades that I have not talked about, but these are the ones that were more in your face and some things that you can actually use on a more daily basis. I have then another video where I do talk about significant feature additions with One UI 4 that I think are really helpful. So make sure you check that video out. It'll be here in the top right corner. And as always, guys, if you did enjoy watching the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.